Congratulations. The Honourable Member for Victoria. Mr. Speaker, millions of Canadians face a significant drop in their standard of living after retirement, but the Conservatives continue to block any real progress to address this crisis. So now we see provinces losing their patience and unveiling their own go-it-alone pension plans. Everyone knows that expanding the Canada Pension Plan and the Quebec Pension Plan is a better solution. Lower fees, higher returns, and more retirement savings for all Canadians. Will the minister face up to the facts and boost the CPP? The Honourable Minister of State for Finance. Well, Mr. Speaker, the only thing he didn't mention was that includes higher taxes. Why doesn't the NDP understand that hiking CPP costs for Canadians, workers, and decreasing their paychecks while the economy is still fragile can kill thousands of jobs? In fact, the Canadian Federation of Independent Business estimates that the plan put forward by the NDP's big union bosses could kill up to 235,000 jobs. Mr. Speaker, Canadians simply cannot afford higher payroll taxes. They cannot afford higher CPP uh, payroll taxes. Canadians can't afford the NDP. The Honourable Member for Victoria. Mr. Speaker, the Minister is playing a very dangerous game by refusing to act. We're talking about the ability of our seniors to retire in dignity. That's what's at stake. As if it weren't enough to block increases to the CPP. Now, the minister wants to attack private regimes that Canadians count on. Why does the minister want to help companies weaken their employees' retirement regimes? The Honourable Minister. Well, again, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Canadians cannot afford to pay higher mandatory taxes in a time when we're in a very fragile global recovery. Let me quote Susanna Clough Clyburn of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, who said, the more that you increase the cost of bringing employees into the workplace, it's going to put up a barrier to creating jobs. Unlike the opposition, Mr. Speaker, this government has been focused on creating jobs focused on skill development, focused on bringing us uh, and building this economy again. Here, here. Good. Honourable Member for 